In today's video, I'm going to show you how to propagate shrubs using suckers. Using suckers to propagate plants is one of the easiest ways you can find. But with some plants, it's, it's almost the only way that you can do it. This here is a mature French lilac, and it's very hard to take cuttings from this. In fact, it's, it's almost impossible to propagate this by cuttings. You could use seeds, but if you propagate from seeds, you won't get the same flower and the same plant. You'll have a different cultivar. Seeds never come true when you're using highly hybridized plants like this. So you have to use some of the vegetative material. Now luckily a lot of lilacs, once they get older, will sucker. And this plant is probably about 10 years old. It's getting quite mature in the inside, but it's also making lots of suckers on the outside. Let me show you how to do it. Now the first thing I do is I remove the mulch so I can see what's going on. I use a lot of wood mulch. So all of these shrubs are surrounded by wood chips. Now I can see a, a growth here. And if I tug on it, I can feel that it's rooted. Sometimes when these are younger, they make a stem out from the crown of the plant, but they haven't rooted yet. And you really can't cut those off because they just won't grow. If you can tug on it and you feel that it's rooted, then you know that you can harvest the suckers. So I've got quite a few in here. There's some more out here. In fact, part of the reason I'm doing this is that the shrub is growing out this way, suckering towards the light. And these are going to start growing in the lawn, which I don't want. So I might as well harvest all of these. For this, I like to use a spade. It has a nice flat cutting edge, which usually works well. So we'll start out front here. First thing I want to do is cut the stem that is going out to the sucker. And I'll go back about six inches and try and cut it there. I think I have that. I then dig up the cutting. Well, it's still attached to the mother plant. So I'll try this again. Now it's separate. And if I pick this up, you can see quite a few roots here. Now what I would do is just use this the way it is. So don't do this next step. I'm only gonna do it to illustrate the video. I shake all the dirt off, just to show you what the root looks like. So we have a, the main stem growing up here, we have the side branch that goes back to the mother plant and lots of roots around here. As I said, don't do this yourself. You're better off leaving the soil on. And now you have a couple options. You can simply bury that in the garden somewhere and you have a second plant. Or what I like to do with these is I like to pot them up. I put them in a nursery area where I can take good care of them. They get lots of water there. They get part shade there because this plant has just suffered some root damage and it really could use a little bit of a rest. Then in either fall or next spring, I'll put it out in the garden. That's really all there is to using suckers. Now I'll go and get rid of the rest of these and I'll pot them up for friends.